On the 11th DIY of Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa Solstice, Mr. Kate made for me. And a bada 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 kid. And a cat. <laughs> Hello! It's DIY 11 of the 12 DIYs of Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa Solstice. We are nearing the end. I'm Mr. Kate, and today I'm going to show you how to do gifts for kids and pets. Because they're kind of the same thing, right? Let's get started. First, I'm going to make a gift for a kid. Now this can be for both a boy and a girl. You need a hand mirror. I got these from Walgreens, the drugstore, for $3. And I'm gonna use ribbon to decorate the girls and some flowers, just things I have laying around in my craft supplies and I'm gonna hot glue it all on. And then the finishing touch is gonna be a mustache in the middle. I'm using this turquoise velvet ribbon to wrap the handle of the mirror. I'm gonna add more fun to the back of it with these random fabric flowers. Now I'm gonna add some little beads and sparkly things. So the back of my mirror is all pretty now. And for the finishing touch to make it unique, all right, push it down. My little girly mustache. Now I've got my girly mirror. Now for my little boy mirror, I'm just going to wrap it in some black duct tape. So manly. And I'm going to cut my mustache shape out of this. my gift for a little boy. So now for your furrier and less expensive to maintain, aka don't go to college children, we are gonna make some DIY pet gifts. I'm gonna use the same faux fur that I used to make the mustache for the boy's mirror to make a dog toy and a cat toy. For the dog toy, I'm gonna use a plastic water bottle because, I mean, Every dog I know likes to chomp on plastic water bottles. By using a water bottle as the filling, it will be eco-friendly because you can just remove it, recycle it, and use a new one. Create a fur tube for your water bottle by cutting a piece and then sewing or gluing the sides together to create a tube. Leave the top part open for a Velcro panel so that you'll be able to get in and out to replace your water bottle. What dog isn't gonna like that noise? Arr. If the sound of the water bottle crunching isn't enough, you can add a little kibble. Yay! Yeah, Girl. Success! Now for the cat one. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing as the dog one. I'm just substituting with catnip instead of a water bottle. Cinch up my sachet of catnip. Look it, it looks like a little mouse. So since it looks like a little mouse, I'm gonna add a little twine tail. I'm just gonna stitch on the tail with a piece of thread. So I hope you guys are inspired to make things for your furry kids and your less furry kids. And I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Arr. Ha <laughs>